screw lock just like so. Gonna bring it back. Call it Bugs Ribbing Thread, it's Vivas. It's, okay, it's, it's in the middle. Good shape there. So I'm gonna make a cut right here. Howdy from Texas, this is Heath Hippo with Bugs Fishing and today we're gonna be tying the second generation trout thumper. And we're gonna be tying with Danville 210 denier thread. And we're gonna start with the one and three quarter inch shank extension. And we're gonna put that in the vise to where it's barely, it's almost coming out right there. And we are going to slip a screw lock just like so. And we're gonna make some thread wraps on the extension. So I'm going to come underneath that screw lock a little bit and then we're going to go on top of it and the tag end of the screw lock is pointing up. I don't want that screw lock to move so I'm going to make a couple of quick finish knots, one on each side and then I'm going to go back and tie in our rabbit. All right. So now we're going to tie in our rabbit and we are going to be tying cross cut rabbit just between here and here. And when you're tying in cross cut rabbit, that's what it looks like. It's cross cut because the hairs are going this way. It makes it easier to cut, a, cut it in an angle on the end. It's easier because it's gonna be easier to tie in. See that angle that we cut right there? We're gonna put that right there and it's gonna be easy to tie in. So this is the transition point to the tail between the top piece and the bottom piece. We're tying the Dawn Patrol color. Okay, so now I move the thread to the end and I'm going to wrap that cross cut rabbit two and a half times. I want to just go all the way to the end kind of fill up that space and so that ends up being two and a half. Some of the sometimes you'll get hide that's a little thicker than others but just fill up that space all the way to the, the end of the, the screw lock into that tag. So I'm making a few wraps there Cut it, tie a good knot right there so that didn't go anywhere. So my belief is that if you practice a whip finish knot enough, you'll be quick with it and you can tie a bunch in there. Some people question why I tie that many whip finish knots. It's because I don't, I'm taking the time to tie a jig and I want it to last. All right, so the belly to this bug is uh, zonker. And so I'm gonna tie it in right here and I'm gonna bury the, the end. And so I'm gonna push these hairs back just like that. I'm gonna tie it in right there on the end. I'm tying it just on the other side of the the end of that screw lock. And see where I made the knot there? I made the knot right here and I left this rabbit right there. And I believe that gives you a better, uh, a better, you know, it's less likely for that to pull out. Okay, so, the last thing we're going to tie in on this is 
the Bugs Trot Thumper Chenille. In this case, case it's a uh, UV with red, like black with red uh, accent. And I'm gonna tie it right here. Again, I'm gonna tie another knot. I don't want that to go anywhere. All right, so that's the last step on that shank extension. We tied in the screw lock, we tied the crosscut rabbit, we tied the zonker belly, and then we try we tied the uh, the the trout thumper chenille. Right now we're going to take that out, set it to the side. The hook we're going to use is a Eagle Claw 413 size 2 aught. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wrap, we're going to put thread wraps all the way down the shank. I'm going to bring it back. Now we're going to tie in seven millimeter diamond fish eyes. You apply the, you stick on the pupils. And I'm tying a bunch of figure eights on top here. And I'm going to tie it on, tie them on both sides. Making sure it's centered as I go. And I'm going to tie some more on top. Mm -mm. Now, next, I'm going to tie in two pieces of forty pound. Mason hard mono. 40 pound. Pieces are a couple inches long. I know they're a little bit too long and I'm going to have to cut them, but so a couple inches long and I'm going to move the thread here. And see how they have a curve? These pieces have a curve to them. I'm tying to where they curve up. So I'll put a few wraps here and it'll kind of stabilize them. Oops. And do some figure eights around the eyes. Now, flip it over, and you're going to tie in that shank extension, and you're going to tie it in so that the zonker piece is on the bottom. See the zonker piece right there? I'm sorry, it's on the bottom. Like, the lure flipped over, so it will be on the bottom, if that makes sense. And you're, and you're, putting, you're, putting, the, you're putting it all the way up against the eyes. And as you tie it in, you want to make sure it's centered. I like to make a knot right here on the edge of the weed guard pieces. Okay, looking good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some more thread wraps. I'm gonna make another knot here close to the eyes. Okay. 
so that's nice and secure. Okay, so weed guard pieces are in, shank extension is tied in securely on top. This is the new quarter ounce weight. It's, I had a, one that was shorter made, and we're gonna tie that on top. And see, it fits really nicely in this space right here. I'm gonna adjust this camera real fast to make sure that So I'm pushing it all the way, I'm sorry, look. This is a thin, the thinner piece, the thinner end compared to that. So it's gonna seat a little bit better right there. And so I'm gonna seat that, the eyes, make a few thread wraps on each of the ribs. Tie a little knot here. Okay. So there's the weight. Okay. Now I'm going to bring the thread here and I'm going to start. I'm going to make thread wraps and I'm going to get it to where I'm going to, the reed guard pieces are starting to come up on part of the jig hook right there. So I'm going to pull the weed guard pieces together and start making some wraps right here. This is going to, that's where the weed guard pieces are going to go. And you're also kind of getting them out of the way. And you're kind of leading them where you're going to want them to stay. Okay. Since I'm about to cut this thread, I'm going to tie a little bit better knot there. Okay. Now, cut this thread. And you say, hey, wait, wait a second. We're not done yet. You're right. We're not done. We're going to tie in some Vivas, call it Bugs ribbing thread. It's Vivas. It's multi-strand. It has some colors. The mayor, like, they're kind of reflective. This is going to give your chenille a little bit of support, um, make the make the lure just a little bit tougher um, because it's designed for speckled trout and we know what their teeth are like. And so we're just gonna tie this in right here, half hitch right there in front of the eyes and I'm gonna let that hang there for just a second. We'll cut that little tag here. All right. So now, trout dumper chenille. Get that zonker out of the way. I'm going to move these materials over, and I'm going to start palmering or wrapping this trout dumper chenille. I'm going to wrap it a couple times behind, and then I'm going to start wrapping it right here. So it's pretty thick stuff. So it doesn't take a ton of wraps to get good coverage and cover up that weight. All right, now we're at the eyes. I'm gonna go around them, around the top two, on the bottom here. I'm only gonna go once on the bottom. So I did kind of a figure eight on top and I'm going once along the bottom. And then I'm going to start to tie off, tie it off right here. So I'm going to do about three, three wraps with the Vivas. Cut it. Okay. Let's do a half hitch right there. And then this is what I want you to do with the Vivas. I want you to... gonna go back down four or five times maybe five or six here do a half hitch so you're going through that chenille 
or make it a little bit more compact, but you're just reinforcing it. It's gonna make it tough. Okay, so the little three, three turn whip finish knot, and then let's cut the, cut this excess. And you're doing this because you're going to have to form a head or form the nose of the bait and it's just going to make it easier to get the stuff out of your way. So we did a little whip finish knot, got the vivas, now we need to bring the our Danville, threnet, our Danville thread back in the picture. We're done with that vivas. Okay. And wrap this right up against the eyes. Now, next step, we got the middle part done. Next step is the zonker belly. So we tied it in back here so we could then pull it forward. We're gonna pull it tight and we're going to separate the hairs. Separate the hairs right here. Make three or four wraps, cut it pretty close, but leave a little tag, okay? So we tied that in, okay? Now, we're gonna put some accent, this is called flora fiber, we're gonna put some hot pink floral fi fiber at the throat. Now these, these strands are tiny, but I'm probably getting 10 or 12 pieces. I don't know, but yeah, probably 10 or 12. Cut them. Okay, so here are the 10 or 12 pieces. Double them. Cut them, okay, and then we're going to double them and tie them in. And when you're tying these in, you can kind of tie them in a little bit further back and then you can just gently pull them forward. And I'm leaving, I'm leaving a little I'm leaving a little bit right there so that uh, same concept with the rabbit. I'm leaving. I'm tying my knot not quite right at the end, and I think it it'll help it uh, hold better. So while I have this right here, there's some there's a couple fibers that are a little longer. I'm gonna trim. Them. Okay, so that's the belly with the accent floor fiber. All right, now the top piece. We're using a magnum, use a magnum rabbit for the top piece. And you don't have to measure this, but you need to, I'm gonna make a very small slit right about a quarter inch from the end, right there, okay? And then I'm going to start that on the hook Push it past the barb, take this out, all the way down the bend, get all the hairs going in the direction that I want, put it back in the vise, okay? So we're good there. So I'm gonna push that down right here Pull it firm, pull it snug, and then again, I'm gonna separate the hairs right here. You can use a tool like a bodkin, like 
I don't see mine right this second, and so I'm just separating them by hand. I'm going to pull that. And I'm going to make a thread wrap right there. And it looks like it's in the middle, and I'm going to check it here. Okay. Okay. It's, it's in the middle. Good shape there. So I'm going to make a cut right here. Okay. So I cut, made the cut. Now, I need a whip finish right there so that does not pull out. And this, there's a couple of parts to this process of finishing this lure. But the first one is you know, securing this top, or the first part of this last part, is securing that top piece. Okay, that's not going anywhere. We gotta... Later. Okay, so now we have the bottom piece secured. We have the floor fiber, the accent at the throat, and we have the top piece secured. Okay, so but we have a lot of a lot of business going on right here, and we want to try to make it clean and nice looking. And so I'm going to take the thread, take the thread this way. And move those move those bead guard pieces further up, and you kind of have to fill in fill in this part with part with thread to make it smooth. Actually, you don't have to; it's just going to make it better looking. And I do care about how how it looks. There we go. So this is that's pretty smooth right there. Okay. So now. We have a pretty good nose on it, but these weed guard pieces, they need to go towards the hook. So we're going to pinch them together and push them in the direction that we want them to go. Then we're going to make several thread wraps right here. And this is, and we're going to pull some thread. Oops, I need to secure that a little bit better in the vise. Whoops. Okay. Let me make that a little tighter. Okay. So, all right. So let's trim these weed guard pieces. Okay. push them in the direction we want to go and we're going to make more thread wraps right here get a little bit more aggressive now it's closer now I will admit that this is not the prettiest nose right there but We're almost, it's gonna work. And we're almost, we're almost there. Okay. Okay. So the weed guard pieces, while not perfect, they're, they're going the direction that they should be going, which is towards the hook, even though there's a little curve in there. But that is gonna, that's gonna work to deflect grass, mangroves, roots, stuff like that. And I just need to, I need to stop with the thread wraps because we're good to go. So let me. Okay. This is one of those steps that I know that Dahlia and the other ladies at the factory they're gonna do a better job than I will. 100%. But that is the, those are the finishing touches, right? Well, the finishing touch is the uh, hardest hole head cement. Okay. Put a good amount there. Make sure we get it right there and right here. 
This will make it more durable for sure. I'm gonna let that dry. So, there's a second generation trout thumper. Um, the tails aren't ready yet, or I'd show you how to put it on, but I'm gonna have to do that in another video. But um, this, is a, this is a little bit more simple way to tie it compared to the first generation trout thumper. It'll get eaten, I mean, it imitates a four inch or just under four inch bait fish, so everything will eat it. And uh, we have all the materials. I hope you will try it, and I hope you'll tie a little bit prettier nose, but that'll get the job done. And uh, so be encouraged that it doesn't have to be perfect um, to get the job done. But uh, there you go. Catch you later.